Hey guys, it's Anime. So, have you ever wanted to get better at Fortnite but didn't really know how? Well, don't worry. I'm here to help. Step one, practice. That's, um, basically it. I just woke up from a nightmare. Alright, so essentially there are two aspects to being a Fortnite pro. Mechanics and game sense. So, out of the two, in my opinion, game sense is the one that's easier to practice, but overall, in the long run, it's gonna take much longer to learn. Just as Fortnite is always changing, the game sense is always gonna be changing. Certain strats that were good last season or two seasons ago might not be the same thing as the season that we're in right now. From landing spots to map knowledge and rotations and everything else that you can possibly think of that is a certain strategy in Fortnite is what makes up game sense. Now, mechanics refers to the raw skill of the player. I'm talking build fighting, box fighting, shotgun flicks, AR tracking. It all falls down to the mechanics section. To really pick up on game sense, go watch one of your favorite pro players and do something that we call VOD reviewing. Most pro players stream a lot whenever they're competing in scrims, tournaments, whatever. What VOD reviewing essentially is, is going back to their past broadcasts and watching some of their gameplay, learning what they do in certain situations, and so on. Another important thing to do for game sense that also kind of involves mechanics is following the meta. So what the term meta essentially means is that it's something that's very popular and that all the players are doing it. When the P90 was actually in the game, everybody used it to spray in people's boxes. Way back in like season 1 of Fortnite when double pumping was a thing, everyone did it. Then came build fights, editing, scroll wheel resets, L2 spamming. As annoying as some of these things are, it's the meta and you're gonna want to keep track of it if you want to be on the top. So now let's move over to the harder of the two, mechanics. So seriously, I cannot stress this enough guys, creative is going to be your best friend. It has so much to offer you as far as improvement goes. From practicing your builds, to aim tracking, to zone war endgame simulations, and box fighting, it is definitely, in my opinion, the best way for you to improve yourself mechanically. For me personally, I have four favorite maps I love to play in creative that help me improve mechanically. First one is an aim tracking map by someone named Down Wazi. Basically what it is is have the zombies go on these little launch pad things and you can just track your aim on them and it helps so much with tracking and so much with your AR aim. The second one is clicks box fights. It's just like it sounds. It helps you improve your box fighting which is pretty much essential now in the current season that we are in Fortnite. The third one I can't actually remember the name at the moment but there'll be some clips on stream as well as the uh, code in the description. This one actually helps you improve your up close hip firing accuracy. So the fourth for me is can Duke's seven edit courses. So this creative edit course map has seven different levels ranging from easy to hard and it even has an aim course with it. So for improving your editing you don't actually have to use this specific edit course but this just happens to be my personal favorite that I love to do. Like I said before I'll be sure to leave all the codes for them in the description down below. So once you spent enough time in creative you know you got your aim tracking pretty much down, your builds are on point, your edit reset is amazing. Now it's time to practice it. Depending on if you just want to be a good Fortnite player or you want to be a competitive Fortnite player, you can either hop into Arena, Zone Wars, or any of these basic playlists to help you out. Well, I hope you guys did find these tips useful. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you also did, be sure to drop a like. That's it, guys. I hope to see you kill it in 2020. Let me in that pussy, I'ma mess you up Till you ain't me, you ain't happy